Hello people, in this video we want to look at this topic weight gain during pregnancy. Okay, so what are we talking about? The gain of weight only during pregnancy. So this is an obstetric topic here. Here let us focus on um, a singleton pregnancy, not twin pregnancy. Okay, but here let us say the total weight gain uh, during the course of a singleton pregnancy that a single live fetus for a healthy woman is about 11 kg. Okay, so how much should she gain? 11 kgs. Okay, this is average 11 kg. Okay guys and trimester wise if you divide it will be 1 kg in the first trimester, 5 kgs in the second and the third trimester uh, 5 kgs again. So totally you are getting 11 right. So this is how trimester wise they are dividing it. But it can happen that in the first trimester there can be weight loss also. First trimester there can be okay there can be weight loss due to nausea and vomiting obviously vomiting why will nausea cause weight loss yeah so there can be weight loss due to vomiting when is that in first trimester right so if there is excess of vomiting in uh, uh, pregnancy what do you call it as hyperemesis gravidarum very good so let us try to understand this table given here at the bottom one thing I can understand is the fetus will be around 3 kgs. Okay, this I can understand. The fetus itself is around 3 kgs. How much will the placenta be? Placenta will be around um, half kg. Half kg placenta, please. Half kg. Lyca, the fluid around the fetus, right? The lyca, the amniotic fluid. Nearly 1 kg. Okay, 0.8 kg. Okay, this is fine. So, this is what is additional that I understand, right? This is the reproductive weight gain, okay? So the uterus is becoming a big organ, so it is becoming 1 kg, so it will be a pelvic organ initially before pregnancy, then it becomes an abdominal organ, so the organ itself is increasing in size, it looks like. The uterus is 1 kg, breast is half kg, half kg breast, half kg placenta. Accumulation of fat and protein around 3.5 kg, okay. Let's add this up guys, actually when you add this up, it is coming to uh, 9.5 kg, so... 9.5 is what is the total of this part and then they are saying there is blood volume which is increasing fluid which is increasing that around uh, what they have told here uh, 2.5 kgs here okay so 9.5 plus 2.5 what is 9.5 plus 2.5 12 so around 12 kgs it is coming up to okay so actually they are dividing it as uh, here they have written as 6 and 6 which I really don't know whether it should be 6 and 6 Anyways, this, what is there under this doesn't add up to 6. But what I can tell you is, uh, they have totally, it is adding up to around 12 kgs, okay. Now, actually, uh, we'll give you some more technical information. See, um, this, whenever the person is having normal BMI, right, only then for them you can say 11 kg, uh, you should gain weight or something. But if a person is obese, can you say this? No, obese person cannot gain uh, this much. How do you know if the person is obese then? So, you have to do BMI calculation. You take your weight in kg and divide your height. So, only thing, two things you need to know, guys. You need to know your weight and height. So, let us say um, I am around 50 kg or 55 kg divided by height. My height, I am not sure, maybe around 155 uh, um, uh, centimeter. So, I will put it in meter. 1.55 meter square I need. So, let us say <clears throat> this is what it is. My weight is actually 55. I will put 55. So, I am going to divide the by this 55 kg divided by 1.55 square. Let's do that. So, 1.55 into 1.55, I have got 2.4 guys. So, now I am going to divide 55 divided by 1, what did it say? 2.4 by 2.4. Okay, 55 divided by 2.4, I am getting 22.9. Let's take it as 23. So, if 23 is my BMI, what am I? <coughs> I am normal, right? Because you can see here, 18.52, please go back to that image. 18.52. 25 is normal, okay, so I'm getting 23 around, so my uh, BMI is normal, right? So, for me, this weight gain is perfect, okay? Now, <clears throat> now let's go to the importance of, importance of, we'll come back to obese women later, but anyways, come, come here. What is the importance of weight check in pregnancy? So, what happens if there is a rapid gain of weight? What happens if there is no gain of weight? What if there is actually a loss? So, pregnancy is not the time to lose weight, isn't it? There is, there's, you should not try to lose weight at that time, at pregnancy. Now, let us look at rapid weight gain. This sounds like a nice thing, but actually, they are saying that a rapid weight gain, that is more than half kg in a week or more than 2 kg in a month, okay? Uh, especially in the later months of pregnancy, it is an early manifestation of preeclampsia. So, this can be 
pre eclampsia so which is nothing but hypertension in pregnancy that can lead to seizures right so this can indicate pre eclampsia so what are the criteria they are saying here if it is more than 0.5 kg in a week or 2 kg in a month right especially in the later months of pregnancy okay so that can indicate pre eclampsia now let us go to stationary weight stationary uh, weight or falling weight both they are putting together this may suggest intrauterine growth retardation or intrauterine death of fetus oh this doesn't look good at all so if they are saying it is stationary or if it is loss of weight it can in indicate intrauterine growth re restriction or a fetal intrauterine death okay fetal demise then if there is an obese woman okay For how much should she gain? Obese women, that is, their BMI is greater than twenty-five. We said they have to gain max of seven kg, not eleven. Okay, seven kg. And in underweight women, what if they are underweight? If they are underweight, then underweight before pregnancy, gain up to eighteen kgs. You can gain weight. So, are you getting it, guys? So, if you are obese, then only seven kgs you can gain. And if you are weight, uh, if you are uh, underweight, that is, your BMI is less, then you have to gain up to eighteen. Okay. So, normal people only eleven, guys. We'll target only eleven. Okay. You remember in PSM you have studied a lot about nutrition for pregnant women, etc. See, before pregnancy itself, before she conceives itself, she should take folic acid because it will prevent neural tube de defects like spina bifida. So folic acid, when should you take? Even before you get pregnant, very important because the development of such small, small, very vital things happen in the first trimester, right? Even before you know that you're pregnant. So folic acid, guys, folic acid. Focus on folic acid. Very important even before your pregnancy. But look at this one. Um, <clears throat> what should a pregnant female eat she should eat uh, uh, where is this here in pregnancy she needs extra calories so this is normal uh, what a normal woman uh, required is written here actually 0.8 uh, dietary coefficient this one 0.8 dietary coefficient is for a normal for normal woman right for pregnancy she needs additional 350 kilo calories so she needs this much of cereal pulse green leafy vegetables other vegetables roots and tubers milk fat oil ghee sugar jaggery totally she is needing around 2000 kilo calories in pregnancy you can add up 350 kilo calories so it will become around 2270 something like that kilo calories okay so this is what is about pregnant female and for pregnant female what else you will su suggest guys in diet you will i suggest iron and calcium tablets right uh, so folic acid much before she gets pregnant and during the first trimester etc then iron and uh, calcium tablets she will have to take okay when it comes to protein guys uh, normal how much do you need you need only 1 gram per day but in a pregnant female in the second trimester she needs 7 plus 7 gram protein per day that means 8 total right and third trimester she needs plus 23 grams proteins per day that means 1 plus 23 24 grams of protein per day in third trimester okay <clears throat> other things that she need we already told you she needs folic acid iron calcium vitamin a thiamine riboflavin hope you have understood everything that we spoke about in this video guys so in this video we our main intention was to focus on weight gain during pregnancy so you understood that you should gain around 11 kg uh, during the entire pregnancy trimester wise they are saying that uh, first trimester 1 kg then 5 then 5 kg first trimester there can be weight loss due to vomiting uh, right and uh, <clears throat> Uh, the bmi for a normal person will be from 18 to 25 for only this 11 kg applies to people who have normal bmi and uh, what should be the weight gain uh, what exactly does it constitute the weight gain of this uh, 11 to 12 kg they have tried to divide here the fetus itself is around 3 kg the placenta is around 1/2 kg the amniotic fluid is around uh, 0.8 kg the uterus is around 1 kg the breasts are around 1/2 kg uh, extra extra weight they are saying here accumulation of fat and proteins happens around 3 to 3 uh, 3 kg 3.5 kg you can say the maternal weight gain other things they are saying that uh, increase in blood volume happens 1.3 kg increase in extracellular fluid around 1.2 kg okay so this actually adds up around to 12 okay 
next what and all did we see importance of checking weight in pregnancy basically if there is rapid weight gain it can mean that there is preeclampsia if there is stationary weight uh, or there's no increase in weight or if there's actually loss of weight it can indicate an intrauterine growth a re restriction or a intrauterine death of the fetus obese women should gain max of 7 uh, kg and underweight women can gain up to 18 kg let's put that here <coughs> and uh, look at this um, in uh, 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 pregnancy what happens there is sodium retention and the sodium retention actually leads to water retention this you have already known sodium retention leads to water retention everybody knows but why is there excess sodium in a pregnant female because she has uh, increased estrogen and progesterone increased aldosterone okay renin angiotensin system is working a lot there is more aldosterone aldosterone will uh, make the uh, water uh, sodium retention sodium retention will lead to water retention water retention more means blood pressure will be become more recent it due to increased anti diuretic hormone okay so these are the three causes of sodium retention the water retained during pregnancy it is around 6.5 liter so imagine she is carrying more uh, 6.5 liters of excess fluid and the fluid usually will be below the uterus they are saying here for some reasons which we have not bothered much about now let us come to the diet of a pregnant female she should be consuming around 2200 kilo calories okay during pregnancy um per day per day she should be consuming around around 2200 kilo calories so actually uh, normal dietary coefficient for a normal woman is 0.8 uh, dietary coefficient sedentary female but for pregnancy you will add point um, sorry 3.350 kilo calories okay and for a pregnant female uh, uh, what is the protein requirement a normal female requires 1 gram per day in second trimester they will require an additional of 7 gram per day and in third trimester they will require additional 23 okay so normally how much do you need first you should know that 1 gram per day you should need and then you will need additional of these proteins per day other things the woman will need is before conceiving itself she will need folic acid so that she will not the fetus will not get any neural tube defects so if anybody is coming uh, planning pregnancy or uh, uh, the infertility treatment etc you will have to give folic acid iron and calcium standard they will give usually they will give this uh, from second trimester because they can they can have lot of vomiting in the first trimester vitamin a can be given then thymine riboflavin can be given okay So this is about uh, pregnant uh, female diet. So that's it guys in this video we have completed weight gain during pregnancy bye bye